previously on The Diary. I wanted Bobby to ask me to prom, and he did ask. Bobby, how are you going to take me to the most important school dance when you can't even walk? First, he got up from his chair as if he were completely cured. I ended up sitting on Bobby's wheelchair. A piece of it came off. A pair of brass knuckles. The very next thought in my head was, you don't need to steal the final exams from the principal's office because he'll just get new ones. But if you know who will be delivering the new ones, you can pay that guy off and get a scholarship for grades to join the football team and show everyone what Bobby Wolf is capable of accomplishing. In my heart, right then and there, I knew Bobby was mystery man. Okay, Bobby, I'll go with you to prom. So, both of them are still alive? I don't know. Are they? I quickly pointed to the crest on Mr. Morgan's sweater. Mr. Morgan and I had a very interesting exchange back in. So where is Mr. Morgan now? And there was no answer. I called the cops and told them I saw Rocco. I let them know that he paid a visit to Mr. Morgan. They went to check it out. His place was deserted. It was as if Mr. Morgan hadn't been there since his second YouTube video was uploaded. The art teacher hasn't seen him either, but she thought he had left on a sabbatical year trip he had been talking about to work on his music. I was heartbroken and afraid for Jessica's well-being. I rather quickly hailed a cab to take us to the hospital. I cried the entire way, not knowing if she would be okay. In school, people are calling Rocco's and Bobby's volcanic eruption of a fight, the ELE fight, extinction level event. Because he started the attack first, they are calling it self-defense. They're calling Bobby a hero. However, the police are investigating further because the vengeance dish that Bobby served Rocco yesterday was absolute zero cold. We still don't know Mr. Morgan's fate, and with Rocco dead, I don't know if we ever will. What if he is still alive and only Rocco knew where? The following takes place on May 15th, 2015. Dear Diary, I have been super busy studying for finals that I forgot to keep you updated on Jessica's recovery. I must admit, it wasn't pretty. She needed over 10 stitches so the doctors cut off a big chunk of her hair. Once she was able to, she took an electric shaver and finished it off Natalie Portman style in that movie with the hacker guy from the Anonymous group. But if you ask me, Jessica wore it better. Also, she didn't wake up the same. The doctors explained that she had some brain damage that they didn't know if it would be permanent. A rare disorder called dysprosity. The title sounds scary, but once they explained it as the foreign accent syndrome, I was relieved. I was so curious to know which one, but I didn't want the doctors to tell me. I wanted to hear it from her. And OMG Diary? Jessica now rocks a super sexy French accent. How did she manage to turn the two misfortunes she just experienced around to her advantage? <sighs> she is just amazing. Regarding Bobby, he was quickly cleared from his suspicions. There was not much to counter the argument that it was self-defense, and mainly the police department wanted to save face for not finding the fugitive themselves, so they let him go. I am pretty sure he is celebrating his victory by not having to study for finals since he basically knows all the answers to all the exams. I am really impressed. He will show the world what he is capable of. I am more excited than ever to be his date to prom, which is next week! I can't wait! On another note, the reason why I set some time apart from my studies today to spend some time with you, Diary, is because Mr. Morgan has been found and... It doesn't look good, Diary. It turns out they didn't do a good enough sweep of his house the first time. The second time, they discovered Mr. Morgan chained to a chair that was bolted to the floor in his basement. They noticed that the entrance to the basement had been sealed from the outside, and that gave them the clue they had missed the first time around. They're saying he starved to death, because there aren't any signs of torture besides him being bound to the chair. However, there was a TV set up for him to watch. It was only showing static when they found him. I wonder what Rocco forced Mr. Morgan to watch in his last days. Why does everyone around me continue to get hurt or killed? The art teacher said her plan was to wait for the school year to be over to catch up to Mr. Morgan. But now that he is dead, she has changed her plans to just move away for good. Maybe she senses the destruction that emanates through this town. Or maybe she's just heartbroken. Can you imagine if I took that advice myself, Diary? Would I be better off somewhere else? <laughs>